Hi and welcome back to Elizabeth Ann Reads. I'm Anne. I am doing a tag today. This is the summer school tag that was created by Doris over at Aldi Books. I was tagged by Victoria at a musical bookworm months ago when it was actually summer and I realized summer school's over but it's back to school time so it feels like it's still an appropriate tag. I don't know. We're gonna go with it. So yeah without further ado I'll be sure and link Doris and Victoria's channels below. You can go check out their videos. Um, but yeah, let's get into the questions. So the first is language arts. Tell us about a book you were assigned to read in school. So I've mentioned this before, but not a lot. I was actually homeschooled through most of my years from third grade on until I graduated. Um, and so I was an avid reader even as a kid. So most of my reading was pretty self-directed because I read a lot and I didn't need to be told to read. Um, so I don't remember a lot of books that were specifically assigned outside of textbooks. Um, but one I remember from high school was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, this was the first Dickens I ever read, or I was familiar with A Christmas Carol, but I don't think I'd read it at that point. Um, so this was my first Dickens, and I loved it. It, to this day, remains my favorite Dickens. Not that I've read all or even most of Dickens, um, but I have just great memories of reading A Tale of Two Cities and loving it. It has been over 20 years, so I definitely need to revisit it soon because I've never reread it. And it's something I think it was actually on my reread list this year. So I may still get to it this year, but hopefully soon I will give this a reread because I remember just loving it and kind of falling in love with Charles Dickens because of this book. Question number two is math. When will I ever use this again? Share a book in which characters need math skills. Okay, this may be a little bit of a stretch, but we're going to go with it. This is Doomsday Book by Connie Willis, which is a science fiction time travel story. This was kind of my first adult time travel story. Um, and in it, we follow, in this world, um, time travel has kind of just been existed, but it's only for historians. They get to go back and study history, and there's all these kind of guidelines set up so they're not interfering with things. Um, but there's math involved, obviously, in the science of sending someone back in time. And there's these pretty elaborate equations that have to happen to get someone where they're supposed to be. And without being spoilery and going into a lot of details, math plays a small but very critical, it's a very critical plot point in this book, um, the ability to do those equations correctly. So we'll just leave it at that. But I do recommend this book. This is part of a, it's part of a series, but they're all... They all stand alone fine, but this is the first one because it kind of gives you the introduction to the concepts and the ideas and the mistakes that happened kind of at the beginning of the time travel adventures. All right, question three is science. What was the last science-related book that you read? And that would be The Ghost Map, um, the story of London's most terrifying epidemic and how it changed science, cities, and the modern world by Stephen Johnson. Um, this is a nonfiction book about the cholera epidemic in London in 1854. Um, and just following kind of how science worked at the time. So how they tracked, how they figured out, um, you know, kind of the trial and error process they went through to figure out that it was the water that was causing the problem, that it was coming from a certain well. Um, and yeah, it was an okay book. It was interesting. There were definitely interesting parts of it and also really dry parts. And the author has a habit of getting on kind of his little soapboxes that really don't relate to the book and going on and on and on about them. And it was just weird. I would skip the whole last chapter entirely if you're going to read it. But it's interesting, but I wasn't like blown away by it at all. Question four is social studies. Share a book from your TBR that is translated or deals with government. Um, I chose a translated work. And that is The Night of Wishes by Michael, and I think it's Ende is actually how it's pronounced. He's German, um, and he is more well known for writing The Never Ending Story. Um, he also wrote a book called Momo, which I think is 100 times better than The Never Ending Story. I do like The Never Ending Story, but I think Momo is just spectacular. Um, he wrote a lot of other books, but as far as I can tell, this is the only other one that's been translated into English. Um, so I picked this one up earlier this year and haven't got to it yet. I'm sure it's some sort of fantastical kind of bizarre read. Um, I'm hopefully going to be getting to it soon and I will let you know how good it is. Question five is exploratories. Which category of extra non-core classes did you take the most of in high school? Again, I was homeschooled, um, but that would have to be music. I'm a pianist. I teach piano lessons. 
So obviously I took piano lessons all through high school, after college, and on. So piano was the big thing that I was doing outside of technical school classes. Um, question six is common core, share a good pairing of a fiction with a nonfiction book. So my nonfiction book, I read this a couple years ago, and that is The Time Traveler's Guide to Elizabeth, Elizabethan England. And I love this because it goes through kind of the gritty um, details that you don't read about in novels. Um, you know, what people ate, how they got dressed, what the bathrooms were like, all those things, kind of the ins and outs of just the day-to-day -day details of life. Um, this is by Ian Mortimer, by the way. And I just found it really interesting. Um, so I would pair this with Shakespeare, any Shakespeare. This is Romeo and Juliet, because that's the one I just read. Um, but any Shakespeare would work, or anything else written during the Elizabethan era. Um, but I just think the, the ins and outs combined with um, the beauty of Shakespeare, I think, would be a great combination to study. All right, question seven is research. What was the last topic that inspired you to seek out books so you could read up on it? Um, yeah. So I already mentioned I am a musician. So when Hamilton came out on Disney Plus, I watched it. I was not expecting to fall in love with it like I did. But as a musician, I just fell in love with the intricacy of what Lin-Manuel Miranda did um, and how he created such an incredible musical, just the art form itself. After watching it several times, I got more and more intrigued with the history and I wanted to know what was true and what wasn't true and what was kind of embellished a bit. Um, so I actually got this for my birthday from my parents. It is the Alexander Hamilton biography by Ron Chernow that the musical is actually based off of. So this is a starting point, but beyond that, it kind of gave me a fresh interest in American history in general and the revolution in general, which I'm sure will expand to other aspects of history. Um, and yeah, I just, the more I think about it, the more I realize my understanding of history is not very good and I want it to be better. So that's something I think that I'm going to pursue in the next year is definitely um, just getting a better understanding of American history and world history in general. Um, it may turn into a series on my channel. I'm not sure yet how it's going to look, but we'll see. I'll keep you updated. But definitely my, you know, 20 rewatchings of Hamilton have sparked an interest in that. All right, question eight is what subject area would you teach if you were a teacher? I would teach piano because that's what I teach. Um, nine is share a photo from your school days. Again, it's homeschooled, so I don't have photos, like specific school photos, um, and I'm too lazy to go and scan something in the computer. So you don't get a picture, sorry. And then um, 10 is to tag some fellow lifelong learners. I, okay, here's my tag. I'm not gonna tag anyone specific because this is the summer school book tag and summer's pretty much over. But if you homeschool your kids, or were yourself homeschooled, I take you. Um, so I'd love to hear your answers to some of these questions. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure and let me know down below what your favorite book that you read in high school was. I would love to know. Um, yeah, have a great day.